everybody. Let's go ahead and try another video. I want to try to help to clear up some confusion now. So here's the question. What is the day of the Lord? Or what is the wrath of the Lamb? Let's make this really simple. The day of the Lord is the exact same thing as the wrath of the Lamb. Those are two titles that are synonymous with each other. And the day of the Lord slash wrath of the Lamb is a one-year time period that's going to happen right after the seven-year tribulation ends. So when the seven-year tribulation finally ends and the rapture of the church happens, all of the chosen ones will be off of the earth now. They will be in heaven with Jesus. Then the wrath of the Lamb starts. This is going to be a one-year period where God is going to rain down wrath on the non-chosen ones for what they did to us. Yes, it's that serious. It will be a one-year period that is stated in the book of Revelation. And if I can remember, I'll try to put up some scriptures also to show you some other things too uh, in this video. Now I'll tell you something that was a little bit funny. When you read the Old Testament, it might have been in Malachi, possibly. The Jewish people were actually begging God to start the day of the Lord. They kept asking him and asking him to start the day of the Lord. Then God spoke to them and said, and actually I believe it was Jesus speaking in the Old Testament. I believe Jesus said to, said to them, listen, you don't even know what you're asking for. That's kind of funny because that one year period, the day of the Lord, that happens after the seven year tribulation, will probably be the worst time of all here on earth. It's going to be so bad for the non-chosen ones to go through that the Jewish people in the Old Testament didn't even know what they were asking for. So I thought I would bring that up because it's a little bit funny. Once you study this, once you learn this, and then you read what the Jewish people were saying in the Old Testament, that we want the day of the Lord, we want the day of the Lord. Well, oh my, they didn't even know what they were asking for. So when you hear people talking about the day of the Lord or the wrath of the Lamb, it is a one-year timetable period on earth that happens after the rapture at the end of the seven-year tribulation. And it's for the non chosen ones to go through only no chosen ones go through the day of the lord likewise no chosen ones go through the wrath of the lamb that is why in the bible when god says that he will not have his church go through the wrath we don't we don't go through the wrath of the lamb but we do go through the great tribulation. These are two separate events. First, the church goes through the entire seven-year tribulation, just like Jesus tells us, just like Paul tells us, just like Martha tells us. Then, the rapture and resurrection of the church will happen at the end of the seven year tribulation then the wrath of the lamb starts the day of the lord all right i pray this is going to clear up any confusion you have and that i made this really simple to understand 
So, when Christians tell you that we don't go through the great tribulation because we are not appointed unto God's wrath, they're not understanding. The great tribulation and the wrath of the Lamb are two separate events. The church goes through the great tribulation for seven years. Then the rapture and resurrection will happen. The Christians will be gone. And now the world is going to go through the day of the Lord, that one-year timetable that is going to be absolutely devastating for one year. Amen.